Yeah, so. Now, so what I'm going to do, head back up here, and there's another byway that spurs off. Now, that one I know definitely I've never been down before, or never been down partially. So we'll see what it's like. It might start off, you know, just a, a dirt trail, and then it will just get, uh, you know, more challenging as we go along. I mean, I'm not a fan of them. You know, give me an easy trail to ride as opposed to a challenging one. Yeah, I mean, that's the one. I really enjoy the challenging ones, but from a challenge point of view, not from a, a lovely sort of a pleasant ride point of view. So I suppose if I was ever going to start a tour company, for example, and I'll say, right, okay, I'll take you off-road riding, I would not take anybody on those kind of things especially um you know initial uh riders and never done any dirt riding before especially on a road bike or especially on um you know and a sort of heavy bike um because it, it the challenge becomes quite wearing quite taxing relatively quickly so you have to be that bear that in mind and you know the worst thing is that you got a group of people you're taking on a tour and they just don't they just don't enjoy it you know right okay so we're on to the uh next byway just make sure i am correct here yeah so a fork in the road and we'll see how far we get because i say i've not been up this one before and it sort of says it doesn't go into a proper track so we'll see what it's like i may have to abort um we'll see we'll see Right, so that's private driveway. This is byway. Just make sure it is, yeah. Get some air in my visor. Cool. Okay. Wow, this is nice. Look at this. Oh look, they've cut another path there, and I wonder why is that then? That's nice. Oh, look at this, I and mean, this is just really... God, I wish I found this earlier. Look at this, this is brilliant. You know, I've been, you know, I've ridden and driven in different parts of the world, and you know, it never ceases to amaze me. You can have something that's, you know, relatively close to you, and it resembles somewhere from another part of the world. Just amazing, really. Right, let's just, uh, do you know what, I'm going to take a, a punt here and just go in the middle bit and see how, see how far we get. This is nice, yeah, I can see the ruts ahead of me, the grass, in the grass. Remember, I was, I was on a byway the other day, um, a few weeks ago. You can check out one of my videos, I'm not sure which one it was. Uh, but I had to, the byway took me right across an open field, and you thought, oh, okay, open field. And luckily, I had the presence of mind just to slow it right down. And what the grass was obscuring was lots and lots of really deep and twisting ruts caused, I don't know, caused by machinery or something. I'm not sure what it was. Um, but the front wheel was bouncing in and out, and the you know the bike was fishtailing all over the place. And luckily, I was just going very, very slowly, and managed to you know constantly keep it under control. Um, right, this is the thing I don't want to go off route here. I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, up here. I think pretty sure it's up here. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I was really lucky. I suppose that's all, again always really cautious about um, going over grass um, you know or certainly longer grass that can um, obscure things when it's been you know chewed down by farm animals then you've got a much uh, better chance of getting it right you know right let's just see where we are here because I uh, Just going real big, bad, oh here we go, yeah, bad camera on the right hand side there, so, there we go, yeah, slipped into the rut there, can't get out of this now, let's just see, 
That's fine, that's fine. All right. And I'm on the levels a little bit, I'll just... There we go. I mean, it is. It's very chalky up here as well. So along these hills, um, and it's the stretch all the, all the way from, you know, uh, Buckinghamshire, Dunstable, Dunstable Downs, all the way to Swindon area, is very chalky. So you'll see lots of um, areas cut out the hillsides, you know, to make shapes, you know, like, a, uh, you know, Iron Age shapes, you know, like uh, the White Horse at Uffington, um, the, uh, the other one at Dunstable Downs, I forgot what it is now. Uh, but there's also lots of other sort of neat little markings as well. I mean, so check out some of my other Brikers travelogue videos, and you might see a couple of those as I'm riding to those as well. But anyway, so and then, you know that's the reason why they dug them out. You know, took out the uh, the grass on these things, so you could actually see the white chalk outline or the chalk figure, you know, for miles around. And I was, I'd love to know why. I actually ever did it, I'm sure people know, but anyway. Right, wow, look at this. Right on top of the plains here. Now, let's have a look where I am. Okay, just gone past a place called Grimm's Ditch. Nice. Right. So pretty much, not quite at the top of the ridgeway, but not too far from it, I must say. So, I'm just going to try and keep it on top here and see where we, how far we get. Yeah, on. So this is where it gets all tricky again. So slowing it right down to a crawl so I can really... Do you know what? I actually, I've actually got a windscreen up. What I'm going to do is put that down. That's kind of interfering a little bit with my vision. There we go. So let me just see. That's better. That's better. I've got a much better unobstructed view here. But I can see there is, you know, rottage there as well. Yeah, I say, uh, I mean, you may or may not pick this up. I mean, I sometimes look at my videos, you know, obviously when I'm editing them as well, and I think, well, I can't really, you can't really pick up the uh, the definition, you know, that the naked eye can see, you know, uh, sometimes. Um, so, I suppose you're just going to have to take my word for it, really. But anyway, if you ever do this, you'll see it yourself. You'll see that there are uh, areas that you just need to, you know, be really careful of. And if you ever see a very narrow trail that's overgrown, overgrown by grass a little bit, just be extra especially careful on those because that's where your front wheel will just wobble all over the place and it will start to make you lose balance. So that's where you've got to slow it right down, put your back brake up. And if need be, take a breath, put your foot, you know, put a foot down. There's no harm in put your foot down, just as long as you know where you haven't got a big drop either side. As I said before, and you've got you know deep wheel marks, and you could just lose lose the bike because your foot just drops into a you know just into a huge hole. Right, so here we are. This is where deep-ish rut here. Now, do you know what? I might actually come off this and go into this one here and see how we go. Yeah, well, that was fine, but it's just, uh, I've, kind of, I've done this, I've kind of gone against my own little rule here, because I'm looking further ahead, and I can see there's a clearly defined track going all the way up this byway. So I'm chancing it a little bit, but I think it's going to work out dandy, actually. Let's just see. And it's one of those things, once you make a decision, then you review it. So here it's a little bit deeper. But I made the right decision, because right in the centre there, the, that very narrow rut is actually very deep. So when the bikes have come up here in the winter, and they've tried to avoid these, you know, flooded tractor wheel marks, if you like, either side, they've, what they've inadvertently done is created deeper ruts right in the centre. 
you know, which is fine. But, you know, if you're talking about an easier ride, and I suppose that's my a bit of my riding philosophy as well, you know, just always keep it as simple, uncomplicated as you can. And look, right on top of, right on top of it here. Lovely. This is absolutely lovely. Okay, so pretty much, okay, I'm right on top of the ridgeway here. Wow. Let's just see where we got to now. Uh, well, that can't be it, can it? Ah, look at this. As if miraculously before my eyes appears. <laughs> right, let's just have a look, see. Where are we going now? So, okay, let's just see how how far we get. Okay, so this is very loose gravel here. I've got a feeling this is about as, that's about as far as I'm gonna be able to go here. We may have closed off the road, if that's the case. And it is kind of game over, really. Now, what does that say there? Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, nice. Up and down it, up and down it. Okay, so that says Ridgeway closed, motor vehicles, 1st October 30th of October. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's, that's what it means. First of all, so we're in June, so that's absolutely fine, right. It's on that sign, it's on the other sign. Alright, let's just... Uh, let's just see how we far we get. Nice and gentle. Yeah. As you can see, I'm just sort of taking it easy. As always. I'm just my hips should come out a little bit. Oh. There we go. Always keeping a good look out up ahead, seeing if it's going to be a, a deep rut or something I'm getting into. You know, I mean, the, the, um, the, uh, the pegs are spring loaded, of course, so that's, you know, not much of a problem. Uh, it's sort of the gear selector lever, that's what you've got to be yeah, aware of. Yeah, I'm just trying to plan a way here to see if I can actually get out on the right-hand side where it's just sort of flattish grass. But unfortunately, the uh, on the right-hand side of the track here, it's actually quite... Okay, hold on a minute. Now, do I try and get at the top there or... Do you know what? I suppose there'd be chance in it here, but...
Yeah, this is nice though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things, you're kind of playing a balancing game here. Just trying to keep your focus. Very small corrections with the, the handlebars left and right. And just keep on going. And then obviously just looking at the, the rut left and right. I'm going to come out of that now and see if you, any, if you can proceed or go on now. It's dry, it's a rut, so that's fine. The problem is, it's, um, you might catch your pairs, gear selectors and that, you might catch your foot. Um, so, you know, you just got to be very, very aware of, um, dare I say, the kind of limitations of it all, you know. Well, this is nice. Right, so I think, now where, okay, go. morning, right. see you then, all right, now what does this one say, no motor vehicles for one, first of all, ah, okay, that's fine, so that's fine. This is, right, let me just check. I am clear to go here, yeah, because that's what all the, all the signs were saying actually. All right, let's see how far we get. Nice. Yeah, so basically, uh, actually onto the Ridgeway uh, proper now, so pretty much right on, well I wouldn't say right on top of the hill, but it kind of follows a path that goes on top, by the side, on top, by the side, you know. So it's, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a nice route to come along. So this main bit, um, the main Ridgeway, uh, and it's all kind of broken up into bit, p bits and pieces really. But it's usually pretty good all year round. Um, and you saw there that sign back there, it said, you know, from, you know, it's only from uh, October to April that it's banned, you know, for motor vehicles, unless you've got access, you're at a farm or something. Um, but, um, you know, but it's usually pretty good going. It's not, you know, it's not, it's just like this, you know, it's just like a farm track, so it's fine. Um, but as I keep on saying, it's those side spurs, you know, those side feeder routes or the ones that you think, oh, yeah, this would be really cool. Those are the ones you've got to be ultra careful of, you know. So hopefully you'll, you know, you'll watch these videos and you think, okay, yeah, this is, this is what it is really like. And this is where, you know, I need to watch out for. Now, I don't know, I, it's hard to say to give you advice on this. I would say if you're not confident just and you're really scared about or fearful of uh, dropping your bike um, then just don't go down these really uh, challenging size bursts. but if you're if you're not too bothered you've got an older bike or you've got a like an enduro bike that you don't mind sort of well, I wouldn't say you don't mind dropping it but it's not the end of the world if it gets dropped then yeah sure go for it you know you know don't do as I do either and just go right riding alone you know um, you know, I'm not saying I'm anything special, but you know, I've been doing this for quite a few years. I don't know kind of how to, you know, you can tell by the way I'm riding, it's just slow and pro just, you know, keeping it going really. Now this is a split in the, the ridge right, let me just consult my map. Yeah, okay, so it's the next junction up, I've got to go turn left. Yeah, so, um, you know, don't go, I wouldn't go by yourself, try and go with a friend, certainly if you're, uh, you know, not very confident, let people know where you're going, how you're going to get there, that kind of stuff. Take a phone with you, take some food, take uh, some water, especially in, the, in this, and if you get tired, take a break, definitely take a break, or, or lots of breaks, and just enjoy the, and just enjoy it for what it is, you know. Wow, 
this is nice. And this is just nice riding now, do you know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's you're getting all the off-road um, stuff that you need. Uh, you're getting out to the sea, the countryside. It's just, you know, it's just really nice. Do you know what? I was actually expecting a lot more people to be up here today. Uh, this morning. I mean, it is, well, it's actually midday now. It's, uh, well, it's just gone 12 o'clock. Um, but I was expecting, I mean, it's, it's going to be another hot day, so maybe that's why people are sort of staying away a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's been, you know, non problematic, really. I haven't got too many uh, bow stairs. Hello? Hello? Uh, interestingly, I, uh, yeah, I think this is my mapping's taking a bit of a wobbler here. So we'll see where we're going now. So that's, where am I? That's straight on. That goes to there. Don't know which way to take, really. Should I go that way or that way? Do you know what? I'll go this way. I'll see, I mean, this is off one of those grass tracks again. Now is it, ah, now is it that one or is it that one? All right, we'll give it a go, down here. Let's just go in the center off the wheel tracks here. Okay, I can already see there's a bit of nonsense going up ahead here. Yeah, look at these big deep ruts. Whoa, look at this. There we go. Just mark this grass, just masking these ruts again. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if this is the official route or the one parallel just on the other side of these tall weeds, but uh, okay. Thinking cap on again here. Get that thinking cap on and make sure uh, head on out and do the right thing. Yeah, I so say you definitely got to keep your wits about you, but it's just you know, it's a kind of sacrifice that you're willing to make, I suppose. You know, to get out into the this sort of countryside and see it. Now, obviously, you can get off your bike, park it up or in a car, park it up and just go and walk these things, you know. Right, so, now that by, oh, okay, what by way is that one then? Hang on. Where am I now? Okay, ah, right, okay, so that goes that one, that goes that one, and this just goes straight on, okay. Oh, this is one of those grass ones again. Definitely the route, the route less travelled. So, I mean, here I can see, although it's overgrown, I can see that it's a relatively flat and widish um, uh, trail. Um, I don't want to say it's a rut, but you know, it could develop into one quite quickly. So, always constantly looking directly ahead of me, and then also, um, you know, down the road or down the track a little bit to see what's coming up. Right. Yeah, so I can see um there's a bit here, but oh, so that, yeah, there we go. That's fine, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's kind of it's like the, the track she goes left and right and then it kind of falls off again, so right. Um Okay, that's the byway. Let's see how far far down I am here. Alright, let's have a look here. 
I'm not going to go. In the, I am going to stick to the middle here, and even if it's rutted. I can because I can see either side. Those are really deep ruts. So it's like it was before. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey, and see how see how far we get. There we go. And so there's a bit of a rut to the into the centre bit. So I just go on the right hand wheel mark here. So my foot, I could see it would disappear down a, a deep rut that's masked by the grass there. So I'm just I'm just going to take it really easy. And if I have to dip out, then at least I've got you know given myself a few options here. Okay, so there's that deep rut developing on the right hand side. This middle track is fine. I'm just going to come to the centre here. Just feeling my way along. Watching what that front tyre wants to do all the time. I mean right now it wants to drift off to the right so I'm going to just correct myself on a rear brake. Just making sure it it stays I mean the great thing about the rear brake is that it kind of it drags the tail of the bike back so all of a sudden you tend to straighten up a little bit you know what I mean and you're not putting pressure on the front tire on the loose gravel or, or loose surface or whatever so that you know you won't lose the front tire you might skid the rear tire don't get me wrong but um, you won't lose the front tire so it's it just it's a really stabilizing technique on the bike you know so even if you're not on the back brake just cover it you know that's what i'm saying you know a lot of times i'll say yeah i'm on the back brake here i'm not actually using the back brake i'm just really always covering it just in case i have to you know put it on like that you know there we go so you know just again be gentle with it but you know just be aware that that's the way that's the way it should be used. Right, let me have a look here and see where this is going. Right, let me just want to check my mapping. Oh, actually, it's not too far away now. All right. There we go. Deep right to the right hand side. Just get away from that. Yeah, lots of deep ruts in the centre here, so I'm just gonna go where it naturally wants to take me, see to be the best route. And pretty much we're right here, just just make sure. There we go, and out we are. Okay, so we're actually in East Aylesley now. Woohoo! We made it. Made it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of turn right and then go into East Aylesley, and then double back, and then I'm going to try and get us back onto the ridgeway. And then, um, yeah, get us onto the ridgeway and then uh, go for a cup of tea, I think, somewhere. Let's try that, shall we? Oh, this is nice. Well, I don't know too much about this place at East Eelsley, but, you know, it seems as if it's uh, just a small sort of village um, so there you go right turn left here now this byway is actually very very close I think it's here actually This is yet. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Okay. So on the tracks again. You know, if you lived around here, you know, you'd be up and down these all the time, wouldn't you? Okay, by yeah, official byway it definitely says it there. Right, so back onto the centre of it. Oh, this is nice, nice and cooling to be in the shade. Right, this is where I have to be very careful because this looks as if it hasn't been ridden for a long time here. So, just going to keep it loosey-goosey all the way along, I think. Just check out these the trails, exactly where it wants to go. Now this is quite a, a long one, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful here where it actually wants to go. There we go. If I'm lucky, not many tractors or you know four by fours would have come along here so there won't be you know huge ruts i can see there's a rut on the right hand side but this center part is actually quite good so i'm just gonna carry on and see where it takes me for now now it does look as if somebody's come down here with a lawnmower or something you know and uh done it. I mean, I actually don't know who's responsible for these. Is it a council thing? I don't know. You would have thought, I don't know. I have to do a bit of research on that. Maybe you can tell me in the comments below. I'm sure everywhere is different. Sometimes it's landowners, sometimes it's councils, whatever. But uh, anyway, I would have thought it's councils because they are byways. But, you know, so they're not exactly, it's not all been cut, but, you know, certain areas have. All right, so again, a bit of, a bit of caution here on this little bit. There we go, right. Just keep on going. So what I'll do, just keep it in the centre bit for now. Oh, this is lovely. So basically we're on the, we're on top of the Berkshire Downs here, but it kind of undulates quite a lot. So it uh, goes up and it goes down, you know, and sort of left and right a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, I've, I've done this huge loop, I suppose, and um, try and get back onto the Ridgeway uh, proper, uh, and, uh, another set of byways, and uh, on the other byway, and uh, um, then end up at a local cafe and uh, see if anybody's there and uh, get a cooling, uh, get a cooling drink. So I think I need it. I've got water in the back, so I'm fine if I really needed to, you know, stop and think about things. There we go, right. Up we go, right. That was alright, wasn't it? it? You know what? I think because I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it actually was, it didn't, in the end, it didn't turn out to be so bad. Right, I just want to plot my route here to make sure. Alright, okay, so, yeah, so I don't want to do that one. Right. Let's go left. Alright. So I'll just edit that bit out there. So there we go. Right. So I was just looking at the map to see in which would be the best route to go and it's all a little bit... Um, unfortunately, the uh, as I said before, the the ridgeway itself is kind of disjointed. There are certain parts you can go on, certain parts you can't. So you kind of have to zigzag across the downs, really, to um, find your way around. Uh, so that's kind of what happens, really. Okay, so I'm going to have to cross the main road here. Off we go. More byway. Just looking out for the byway signs, making sure I am in the right place. And they've also got those blue informational no entry sort of signs for motor vehicles. But those are just for the, um, you know, from the October to um, April signs. 
so uh, you know we're June here so absolutely fine right and this is this kind of loose stuff on this I would imagine this has been rel done relatively recently actually so I can't remember this from I think last year or the year before I was riding up here and I can't remember these tracks being done like this so do you know what you know, it's as I said before, all these byways, you know, can be a challenge, but it sure would be nice if they're all like this. I, I've got to say, you know, just just riding trails, riding tracks like this, just makes life a lot easier. Right, keep on going. So, I mean, it's a lovely cooling wind today, actually. So that's really helping. I'm wearing a lightweight jacket as well. So, you know, I am sort of. You know, got the stance of a of a jaguar as well. <laughs> you know, with my arms out. You know, just trying to get as much venting as possible. Uh, right, hold on. Now, did I go up that way? Okay, so this way before. Right, let's have a look here. So this is sort of hard. I mean, I'm just very, very loose on the front here. It's all going to be on the back. Uh, back tyre really, just making sure that uh, does what it does um, but yeah, I'm going a little bit faster but obviously not, not crazy fast and it's all about perspectives on the road, this would just be going at a crail, at snail's pace, but you're actually on here you know, it's something that you know, you've got to be aware of, right, so now this is ok, I don't know this bit here so this is byway as well Have a look. Okay, no, no, that actually says that I can go on that. Do you know what? Let me go and have a let me let me go and have a check here. And I'll double back if I have to. So I've got a feeling there's a sort of a, a memorial up here. That you can actually go and chill out and have a don't need driven up here so let's see why not let's go and have a look see. okay so this says now which way is that saying is that left or right okay so that is Wait a minute, is it? Just looking at my map here. Where am I? Okay, no, so that's not it. No, 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 no. Wrong way. Yeah, okay, so I can't go this way. It's a shame. I think it's just going to be a track anyway. You know, sh I think that must be a recent closure because I'm pretty sure I've been up here in the past. All right. Car's gone now. Where's he gone then? Right. Let's go this way again. Ah, you see, he's gone down that way. There you go, I can see him. Right. So, heading out then. This is nice. Look. Right on the downs here, beautiful. Uh, big horse riding country around here, uh, lots of gallops, you know, uh, lots of professional horse stables and stuff. So we'll go over, I'll go over to those on the, on the next videos as well. There's lots of byways around those. Uh, you know, you just got to be very careful of the horses always around, you don't want to spook those, do you? They uh, can get quite irate with you if you tried. <laughs> Uh, even if you did it by accident, I should say. Alright, so there you go, they've got gallops left and right here. I mean, 
mean, we really are into farming country around here, that's for sure. Now this, I mean, you can see that bridge up ahead, that railway bridge, that's a disused railway, it actually says it on the map. So I wonder if you can get on that. Probably, you possibly can't, but you know, it'd be cool to go and investigate, that'd be sure, that's for sure. Alright, let's see what's going on here then. That's nice. Oh yeah, it's just completely blocked off. They filled it in, so... Okay, which way close to motor vehicles than that side? Where am I now? Okay, so pretty much off uh, off it now. Okay. Okay, right, I hope you enjoyed that then. So basically that was a Ridgeway run from Molesford to East Hillsley and back again over the Ridgeway over the Berkshire Downs. Okay, catch you on the next one. Cheers.